Have you ever wondered what popular languages sounded like in the ancient times? Do you think English sounded similar to today's English? Well, guess again. After all, many have been pushed outside to accommodate modified linguistics, and some, point blank, are extinct. It's been an impossible task to find out how we communicated thousands of years ago, until today. Artificial intelligence has preserved and revived our past languages our ancestors spoke, and we're just excited to play them all to you. So, sit back and relax as we transport you back in time to hear the voices of our linguistic ancestors. Old English, or Anglo-Saxon, is the earliest form of English from the 5th to 11th centuries. Evolving from Anglo-Saxon languages, it had unique features like the runic alphabet and a complex inflection system. Unlike modern English's reliance on word order, Old English used word endings to indicate grammatical roles. You wait thar neosian, sutha nicht bekom hean huses, who hit ring dena after berthea ye boon hafton. Fan tha ther inna atha linga ye drikt swefan after symbol. Sorgane kuthan won shaft wera, wicht on hell o grim on grady, ye rossona was, reoch on retha on rasta ye nam, thrichti thena. Ancient Greek, the language of classical Greece, 1500 BC to 300 BC, was crucial for philosophy, literature, and science in the era when Greece dominated. Fun fact, it introduced the definite article, the, in English, shaping language structure across time. Here's the sound of history. Eos men krukope plus apo kianuios oaon ornuit hina tsanatuis ipos peruia de brutuisin hedes nevas hikane te u paradora perusa. Heure de patrokloi perikeimenon hon filon hyon Kleunta Ligeos, Boles Dampfauton Hetairui Myrund, Heden Tuisi Patista to Divateaon. Next is the now extinct Phoenician, spoken by the ancient civilization, influenced Greek and Latin alphabets. The seafaring Phoenicians spread their simple and adaptable script across the Mediterranean, shaping ancient written communication. <laughs> This is Quechua, the main language of the Inca Empire, with dialects, survived Spanish colonialism, persisting through the Peruvian struggle for independence. Still spoken today, its resilience in the face of colonization makes it a vital linguistic heritage in Andean communities. Here's a parting piece for you. Ancient European Celts spoke Proto-Celtic, the common progenitor predating distinct Celtic tongues like Gaulish, Welsh, and Irish. Proto-Celtic likely influenced linguistic diversity and Celtic culture dissemination. Inferred through linguistic reconstruction, it sheds light on the historical relevance of early Celtic languages. It has never been attested in writing, but here's how it sounds. Fate Ansros, Crafted by Saints Cyril and Methodius in the 9th century, Old Church Slavonic served the liturgical and literary realms of medieval Slavic culture. It was more than a language. It marked the inaugural literary expression for Slavic people, a cornerstone in cultural and religious growth. Vesedmi, 
Glusi sli šant slovo Bukovino je. Boga že ubo poznati dostojit. Toko že radi slišite slovjanja si. Old Japanese, the oldest recorded form, 8th to 12th centuries, weaves intricate verb conjugations and honorific expressions, mirroring ancient Japan's nuanced social fabric. Exploring classical Japanese literature unveils poetic and cultural subtleties, showcasing a rich heritage woven into the language's essence. Next up is Middle Chinese, spoken 6th to 10th centuries, shaped Chinese language evolution with tonal distinctions and a unique syllable structure. It laid the foundation for modern Chinese tonal variations, significantly influencing linguistic diversity in the Chinese language family. This is Old Norse, language of the Vikings, 8th to 14th centuries, includes dialects like Old Icelandic, its literature, like the Icelandic sagas, preserves Norse mythology and history. Beyond language, Old Norse influences Nordic cultural identity and storytelling traditions. Thankfully, AI helps preserve this valuable language. Ryukyuan, standard languages of the Ryukyu Islands, forms a distinct group in the Japonic family. Debated as Japanese or Altaic, Ryukyuan, notably Okinawan, features unique phonology and distinct lexical items, highlighting linguistic diversity within the Japanese language family. <laughs> Latin, once paramount globally, is an ancient Italic language with a rich history, originating in Latium. Modern Italy, it became the Roman Empire's official language, profoundly impacting education and politics. Its influence extended to shaping Portuguese, French, Spanish, and Romanian languages. Just listen to its majestic sound. Fortunatissima, pur che rimanque urbem odierno die, deorum immortalium sum muerga vos amore, laboribus, consilis, periculis meis, e flammatque ferro, acqua... A language of the Mayan civilization left a linguistic legacy with hieroglyphic writing. Though it looks intricate, it was once an advanced pre-Columbian American writing system. The long count combining calendars held historical significance, showcasing the Mayan civilization's integration of language, mathematics, and culture. Meaning to Tsachi, to Yam Shakol, Shakich Pamsak, Yan Yan Awahal, to Hopo no Kokin, to Hal Nakaan, to Tibi Tal Uhopo, Lyle Shapom, Yumkaan Kamik, Ubutsak, Kak Utial Uchil, 
Optical yeet, yeah. Akkadian, an extinct East Semitic language, played a crucial role in Mesopotamian history, covering parts of modern Iraq, Syria, Iran, and Turkey. Noted for its cuneiform script on clay tablets, it's the oldest documented Semitic language. As the official language in Assyrian and Babylonian regions, Akkadian was pivotal in trade, administration, and diplomacy. <laughs> Enkitu sha'aram mashudannish hitia ittallaku kalumartsatim illikma anashimatu awilutim uri umi mushi elishu abki ul adishu anakeberim ipriman itabiam manarignia Hittite, an ancient Indo-European language in Anatolia, modern-day Turkey, flourished from the 17th to 12th centuries BC. The Hittites used cuneiform scripts, adapted from Akkadian, for historical, legal, religious, and daily records. With a unique Anatolian verbal conjugation system, it differs from other Indo-European languages. Listen to history through your ears. <laughs> Middle Egyptian, spoken for 700 years from 2000 BC, played a crucial role in the Middle Kingdom and Second Intermediate Period. Egyptians used hieroglyphics on monuments, buildings, tombs, and papyrus sheets, as well as a distinctive cursive hieratic script. Egyptologists and linguists have studied Middle Egyptian texts to unlock their secrets. Now, you can listen to them from the comfort of your home. <laughs> What ancient language or linguistic heritage fascinates you the most, and why? If you're enjoying this journey through ancient history, why don't you hit that like button and subscribe while smashing the notification bell so you'll be updated as soon as we drop other amazing content? Also, don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments section.